Hey, it's Amanda from Loops and Love Crochet, and I just have a video tutorial today for you on the magic circle or the magic ring. I'm going to show you how to make a magic circle and work single or double crochet stitches inside of it, um, as well as how to hold the magic circle while you are making stitches too. So um, you can use a magic circle um, to start a variety of crochet patterns, whether it's a beanie or an amigurumi, like a stuffed animal or a doll or something. Anything where you're making a round shape, um, a magic circle can be used. So uh, we're gonna start out with uh, the magic circle. So I'm gonna put these two fingers out here and I'm gonna wrap the yarn around my fingers. I'm going to crisscross underneath put my thumb on it, and then flip my fingers upwards here. Now I'm gonna hold the yarn, run my crochet hook underneath, pull that last part of, that last loop round of yarn, pull it forwards underneath the other one, and up, and there we go. That's gonna be my magic circle. I'm just gonna hold it while I slide my fingers out. And there is the magic circle. Now I'm just gonna grab a hold of my yarn here, and just making sure that you're not working with the tail of the yarn. Uh, you're going to hold the magic circle open with your ring finger and with your uh, thumb and middle finger. My thumb and middle finger are closer to where my crochet hook is. And then my ring finger just kind of holds the ring open and downwards here so I can make my stitches in. And then these two fingers on my right hand are kind of also holding the ring a little bit, but I don't really depend on them quite as much as the ones on my left hand. So now um, I'm going to chain one because I'm going to be working some single crochet stitches in. If you were starting an amigurumi project, um, the first round would most likely be work six single crochet stitches into the magic ring. So I've made my chain one and then I'm going to insert my crochet hook into the magic ring here magic circle and I'm just going to work single crochet stitches with the crochet hook entering the ring each time and I'm still holding it open with my ring finger underneath as I'm working and I'll do those six single crochet stitches one, two, three, four, five, six, there we go. And once you finish your first round, you can just pull the yarn tail tight. And this will pull your circle tight here. There, so we've done our first round. Now, some patterns will get you to work in joined rounds where you would join with a slip stitch here to the first stitch and other patterns will ask you to work in continuous rounds. So, if the pattern was asking you to work in continuous rounds or joined rounds, you'd still insert your hook uh, underneath both loops of the top of the first single crochet, crochet stitch you made. And then you would yarn over here. Now, if I was working in joined rounds, I'd slip stitch, but I'm going to uh, work in a continuous round here. So continuous rounds, I would just continue right into my next round, which would most likely ask uh, you to make two single crochet stitches into each stitch around and that would be increasing that round shape then you're just going to go around uh, working single crochets two of them into each stitch around there so you would go all the way around like that now if you were working with a hat or another project um, I'll show you how that works with the magic circle as well so again Starting with just my yarn, I'm going to wrap it around my two fingers, holding it with my thumb, crisscross, flip it over, hold it down, run my crochet hook underneath, pull up a loop here, carefully hold it while I slide it off my fingers, and now I'm going to grab my yarn, my yarn end that's attached to the rest of my yarn, just letting the tail hang. I'm gonna use my fingers to hold the loop open or the ring open. And then if I was working a pattern that asked me to do double crochet, I would just chain two here, yarn over, and then I would start working my first round of double crochet stitches right into the ring here. 
So still I'm holding it open with my other fingers. And then you would just do however many stitches the pattern asks you to make for the first round. So if that was um, 10 of them, I'll show you. Let's see, we did one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oops. Nine and 10. And then you would just use your tail here, pull it tight. And then if I was working in uh, joined rounds, I would now, I'd stick my crochet hook under the top two loops of the um, first double crochet stitch I made, and then I would join with a slip stitch. Pulling that tight, and you can pull your magic uh, ring tight just with your tail here. And then from here, if your ring is tightly pulled closed, um, you could work the next round over top of the yarn tail, or you can keep it out until the end and sew it in afterwards. So here I would chain two, and then I would again start with my next round of double crochet. And it would probably also be work two stitches, two double crochet stitches in each uh, stitch around is probably what it would ask you to do if you're working increases. Um, so you would just go all the way around like that. So your stitches would double from your first round in your second round. So if I work 10 double crochet stitches in the first round, then it would be 20 double crochet in the next round. And then it would increase by 10 each time if I was continuing to work my increases. There we go, I'm almost all the way around. And there we go. So here at the end, you would either join or continue on with the continuous rounds, depending if you're working with continuous rounds or joined rounds. So there we go. Uh, starting with the magic circle, we have two rounds of double crochet here. All right, and then you can uh, apply this to whatever crochet, crochet pattern that you're working on. Um, if you found this video helpful, um, check out more video tutorials on Loops and Love Crochet on YouTube, um, or you can find many free patterns on loopsandlovecrochet.com. Thanks for watching.